Hi, boat vlog. It's only a few days after I've uh, finished the uh, water pump, uh, the raw water pump, which is on there now and all set up. There it is. It's got the impeller in it now. I don't think you can see in the holes, but uh, yeah, it's all set up. Seals and bearings and bolts and lots of Loctite and grease and the pulley off a power steering pump, and that's all good. So now I've got a raw water pump. Hooray. I'm not sure how I'm going to go for room, but uh, uh, if worst really comes to worst, I'll actually change this, the shape of this bracket and bring it down and away a little bit more, but that'll mean another belt. But if I can fit it in the way it is, obviously that's much better. It'll be away from the motor and away from the heat. But uh, tonight I want to talk about more heat dispersion, which is uh, more, more cooling. And this is an oil cooler, an engine oil cooler. So uh, what I bought was this and this. These came together, they're new parts. I bought them off a Chinese website. Um, uh, it was quite cheap, I think it was about $60. Obviously these are water in and out and um, it would very probably go like that, I'd say. Would mount like that. Okay, so it came with this huge bolt, um, which is, 22 by 1.5 at one end and inch by 12 I think that is and that goes onto the oil filter so uh, that goes through there obviously and, um, and pokes out the other end and this side you've got this seal which is a sort of a, um, a capture a little um, seal so I made this mount for it uh, as you can see, I put a 20, I don't, don't have a 22 by 1.5 uh, tap, so what I did was I just bored a hole and uh, cut a thread on the lathe, a 22 by 1.5 thread on the lathe, which was actually a lot easier anyway. I cut a nice big slotted hole for the um, inlet of the oil. Obviously it's only got a 10 mil hole on the other side, which is which is that hole there. But what I'll do is, I'm probably gonna weld a fitting on here, like a dash 10 fitting or something like that, an AN fitting. Uh, so what I'll do is when I've got that, I'll probably move the center of the hole slightly on the mill, bore it through at like half inch or something like that, then put the fitting over it, then weld it. And for the outlet, I'll, I'll thread a piece of aluminum or steel or whatever, uh, a tube, screw it into there with some sealant and, and actually weld a fitting onto the end of that. So I'll have two AN fittings and in and an out. And that's actually going to be pretty easy. And mounting it's going to be easy too. So it's not going to be hard at all. It's a round mount. I can either make some kind of clamp mount that just uh, mounts it on the side of the engine, uh, a round clamp mount, or I'll um, just weld a bracket to the side of it, like some plate, aluminium plate. I can do that and just mount the thing and I, I can't really show you because I haven't got enough hands but basically this this thing mounts on there and it screws into that oh hang on just uh, I should have had a tripod really, shouldn't I? hang on just a sec there it is but it's got uh, it also had this sort of have a look at it really closely you'll see that it's got these slots cut in it obviously to locate it on wherever it mounts i don't know where it mounts on a discovery 3 v8 which is a 4.4 liter v8 apparently uh having that knowledge of what this came off i was able to uh, work out which filter went on it which is um it's a Ryko z 692 which has the um prerequisite uh, inch by 12 thread uh, in the specs. So all of that's right. And all I need to do is buy a W692 and I've got an, a nice big capacity oil filter, a nice big capacity oil cooler. And then all I have to do is, uh, and I've always wanted to actually plumb it from the, uh, the heater hoses. Obviously I'm gonna plumb it out of here, which isn't gonna be a big job at all. I think it's gonna be very, very easy actually. I just need to weld a smaller fitting on there and it's literally just a matter of two heater hoses. Very, very simple. 
So win, win, win. Uh, when it's all mounted, I'll show you again and uh, see you.